Hey, so I'm going to show you some tricks on how to upload to the S3 bucket and create an invalidation from uh, Azure DevOps, the STS, you know. Um, so there's, there's a few tricks I, I ran into. I just assumed that you have everything else, all the easy stuff done that you can read in the, in the docs. But say, just do an NPN install and you do some custom work on your script, you're building your, I don't know, your files to upload um, to CDN and the CloudFront, whatever. And so here on the S3 bucket, on, like, say you have your distribution folder, you get the file name here, and then you upload to your AWS settings and the bucket name. And so this will put the file up there fine. I don't think this was too hard to, to do, to, to navigate through. But sometimes it's, it's nice to see all these settings here. Um, but what was hard is the little bit harder was to create the invalidation because first you need to you need to set up that AWS CLI, but this, what they don't tell you is is that you need to install it on um, the server because there is some actually some good reason because there the this uh, module would be too big if they had it in there and they said but so you had to do I had to do a command line the Visual Studio. The, the the hosts do have this have Python installed, so you just do pip install this, and then you can run this uh, CloudFront and run, and run the invalidation. So um, command is CloudFront. The sub command is create invalidation, and then the uh, options and parameters are, are these. They they tell you these in the docs to put those in, but they don't really tell you what's what. So this is a little bit easier just to see it here. And I'll just try to make these videos really short and um, to help people with uh, Azure DevOps.